Hey Pixies, so today we're talking about peel base. Let's get into the other products we're going to be using first. I'm using Revel's Gel Base and Tack Free Gel Top Coat. I am going to do a couple of nails with Zip Liquids. So I have Glitzy Dip Activator and Top Coat. Their Top Coat is also their base coat. And then I'm using Revel Pomegranate and Gold Digger. So we're just going to do kind of a simple manicure today since we're talking about peel base. I have some cupcake liners. I have an ombre brush because I'm going to ombre my middle finger. And I have a stiff nail brush to dust off. Okay, so for the peel base, I just washed this and so now it's got hair on it. Okay, so for the peel base, I've been recently using the UNT that you can get from Amazon. Amazon runs 20% off sales on it, but this was the first peel base that I bought. And for some reason, when I was putting this on my builder gel, it didn't want to pop off. Um, I may have just needed to do an extra layer, but it was probably nine months ago now. So I wasn't quite as experienced um, with it. So at that time I switched over to the Manny Boss and that worked great on my builder gel and i think i did two layers on that now with my natural nails whether it's this or the manny boss i can't do as much so what i do with my nail tips the products really cling to these nail tips and gel in general in my opinion from my experience so what i do with the nail tips you have to make sure it's fully dry so i already have two layers on because i do three i do three full layers on these nail tips now if you want them to last longer you probably only want to do two but it really depends on your body your chemistry peel base is a learning curve for what works for you what product works best for you and what application so what i do is i apply it to the entire nail and then I even go along all of the edges. Now, I change my manicure every couple of days, if not every day. So this is what works best for me. I barely ever have a chip. I recently did, but typically I do not get chips in my manicure. Um, if you are starting out, you can either start out aggressively and do a full layer on your natural nails which it may only last you a couple of hours, depends on your body chemistry. Or you could start out, I'll show you on my thumb and then I'll fill it in the rest of the way. You could start out, some people just go about two thirds of the way down, the whole way to the tip and just do one stripe. Um, that's kind of what I did with my natural nails for a little while, but then I started using builder gel to protect my nails. And I was doing two layers of the Manny Boss on that. Then whenever I switched to these nail tips, I had to do three layers because the first time I did them and I only did two layers, I couldn't get it to pop off of the nail tips. So now I do three. I will be, today is Tuesday. On Friday, I will be removing this manicure. So I will film me removing it for you and add that in. That way you can see the removal too and we'll see what they look like at that point if any have chips i may need to start doing two layers if i want to wear them more than a day or two that's what happened with the last one that chipped i it chipped pretty quickly and it's usually my thumb that chips probably because it gets abused a lot <laughs> but um as far as you you're going to need to see which product works best for you like i said the Manny Boss worked good for me for a while now the UNT works best for my tips. So it really just depends. I will link the UNT down below from Amazon. And I am going to let this dry a little bit. Once this is dry, I'll come back on, do the manicure, and kind of talk a little bit more about it. Okay, so before you start dipping or applying gel, I use this with gel too. Gel liquids. I, I guess I should say gel liquid color. So you want it to be completely dry. You want to be able to go like that on it and not have it feel tacky at all. So all of these feel that way. I'm doing gold digger on these three. So I'm going to get started with that first and 
for Gold Digger, we're going to use dip liquids. So I'll be using the Glitzy Dip Liquids for that. And I do have a discount code for Glitzy. There's a link down below. But my, actually no, we're using Glitzy with the glitter, sorry. I'm doing that because this one is contaminated with glitter. So we'll use that for the glitter and we'll do Gold Digger with the gel. So I'm going to take the gel base they have it's color coat of the dark pink at least with these bottles it's the base and the light pink is the top coat so you want to make sure this is completely dry sometimes I hold it in front of a fan sometimes in the winter I hold it in front of the heater and make sure it is completely dry before you start dipping or apply your other layer if you need to so I'm just going to apply my gel base and we're going to apply that to the entire nail And as I was saying about the peel base, it can be kind of frustrating at first. I know a lot of people are so worried about it popping off and them not being ready to change your manicure. And I get it. You spend a lot of time on your nails. You don't want it to pop off the next day typically or even later that day i understand that but at the same time i hated soaking off it was my least favorite part of every manicure and you just have to kind of see what works best for you you can get peel base to last depending on your how you use it so what I would recommend, these are some ways that I've had it last. If you're dipping on your natural nails, it's going to be hard to get it to last on your natural nails. If you are able to use gel, even if you go back to my original prep video where I apply gel base, cure it, and then gel top coat, cure it, and then apply my peel base, I got it to last for at least five days, if I remember correctly, doing it that way. If you are unable, or you could do builder gel and do it on top of that, just realize until you find the right balance, you may be soaking off or gluing your nail. I used to glue them back on if they popped off too soon and I still had them. I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds but you could do something as simple as the gel base followed by the gel top coat. You could do a layer of builder gel, or you could, with dip liquids, if you can't use gel, you could do one to two layers of, I'm only doing this because from that foil video, I contaminated my gel from <laughs> Rebel, so I'm trying to get the little pieces of red flake off. But if you cannot use gel, what I was doing for a while as well, because I've tried so many different things until I found what kind of worked best for me, I was doing um, one to two dips of clear, and I was using dip liquids, and then I would buff file reshape I, so I would do the dip liquids I would apply the clear and I would activate buff file reshape and then activate again in top coat then I would go in with my peel base and my manicure so if you can't use gel that's another option that would help eat last and it would also protect your nail from the pop off so when you pop your manicure off it would protect your natural nail so that is another option and I would still be doing that if I wasn't doing the nail tips I just love using the nail tips my manicures are usually on there until I am ready to take them off so I love using the nail tips. It's just a little bit more of a process because I have to wait for three layers of peel base to dry, but that is just what as of right now works best for me. 
So like I said, you could use the gel in my prep video where you just do gel base, gel top coat. You could do a layer of builder gel and then the gel base and gel top coat, or you could do the dip liquids with the clear dip and then top coat it and do your peel base and then your manicure. So you do have some options whether you can use gel or not. So there are options available to you and all of those would help protect your nail as well. But you would still have to kind of play around to see how many layers of peel base works best for you. When I was doing it that way with the gel or the builder gel, I was doing two layers, sometimes three, depending on when I was taking it off. But a lot of peel base is just kind of experimenting. I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds. When I first started using peel base, I started out by just doing one stripe down the center and I had to soak off the next time they wouldn't come off. So either start out very small by doing the stripe down the center and then widen it from there if you need to. Some people do like a sh horseshoe leaving the sidewall and cuticle area without peel base so that they can work under there and then pop it off from there or pop it off from the tip. So you do have those options and you can start out slow if you need to and work your way up. You may just need to soak off until you find the right balance or you could go all in and do one coat and see what happens. But one of the most important things is peel base needs a smooth surface. So you need to have a very smooth surface for peel base. Now, right now I'm encapsulating. So I'm still trying to explain to you what I'm doing. So I'm going to encapsulate since we're using gel with this gel. And I'm not going to encapsulate yet on that finger because we're going to do glitter on that one. So pause for a second while I cure. So I'm just going to do, that was a layer of the gel base cured. And now I'm going to do a layer of the gel top coat and cure it to encapsulate. And with these nail tips, whenever I first apply them, they're super smooth. So I just let them as they are typically, not always. Sometimes I buff file and all that and then apply gel top coat. What I've recently been doing is I've just been applying them and then leaving them alone. I go right in with my peel base because they're already perfectly level and smooth. And then I'm gonna cure this for 60 seconds. And then what I do is I will when I am popping off, and you'll see how I pop them off here at the end, but when I'm popping them off, every now and then I'll get a little divot in my nail tip from popping them off. They'll just get a little damaged, they'll get a little rough. So what I do at that point is I will buff and file them until they're smooth again, and then I do a gel base followed by gel top coat to make them perfectly smooth so that whenever I apply my peel base, it has that extra smooth surface for it to apply to and then pop off of because you want an extremely smooth surface for that to work and you need to make sure that your layers of peel base are perfectly dry before you move on. So like I said, it's a lot of experimenting to see what works best for you, but these are just the methods that have worked best for me. So you can try all different kinds of ways to see what works best for you. Is Gold Digger or not one of the most gorgeous colors? All right, I'm getting out the glitter because I, before I move on to the dip liquids, need to do an ombre since I did gel on that one but I wanted to make sure this was top coated so that I didn't get any glitter on those nails. Pomegranate, so beautiful. I'm breaking out the fall. So I'm going to apply the gel base. Now I'm taking the little eyeshadow brush and I am going to scoop up some of that glitter and hold my fingers straight 
and really start at the cuticle there and make it very saturated with the glitter holding my finger straight then i am going to angle it down and start working my way towards the tip but you can go as far down as you want everybody kind of has their own preference on how far down they like to go and i'm holding it as close as i can without actually touching the nail because i want it concentrated in specific areas so i'm really saturating the back end here fully and then i kind of go like that which helps it kind of fade down and then i start working at that line right there fading that out and kind of angling my finger slightly down because you want it to look like it trickled down your finger And then just lightly, this is a really fine glitter, so this isn't 100% necessary, but I just lightly tap it down and then if you pull up any because it's gel, just kind of fill it back in. Okay, I'm gonna cure that for 30 seconds after I clean up the cuticle. Now because we did put gel on the whole nail and we didn't go the whole way down and cover it, I'm very carefully going to just get that off and then go across here because I don't want to move any of that because the gel base stays tacky. So that's our ombre and I'm going to encapsulate that. So I'm gonna apply a layer of the gel base and then a layer of the gel top coat after I cure for 30 seconds and then cure that top coat for 60 seconds and then we'll move on to just our glitter nails. Now a layer of the gel top coat. Okay, so we're good with those. We're gonna do pomegranate on these two fingers with the glitzy. And make sure you check the description down below. I know I went over a bunch of stuff with the peel base, but just in case whenever I'm editing this, if there's something I forgot to tell you, it'll be in the description box down below. And I might even detail the steps for each method that I discussed and link a video that I have to help you with it if you need to see it. I know some people, I'm one of those, I learn better by actually seeing it. So if I have a video that would help you, I will link it. Um, but we just applied our dip base and cleaned up that cuticle area. This is a really fine glitter, so you don't really need to pat it down, but I do just to be safe. And I'm gonna do that same thing on this finger. But like I was saying, if I think of anything, check the description box and I'll try to list out all of the different methods, how to do it, and a video that would help you with that if you're a visual learner. That way you can see it as well. And I applied these nail tips with poly gel and i absolutely love how they applied i still love my nail glue but for some reason this poly gel i just it's because it gives it such a clear bottom area so once i see how long they last i will be doing a video on applying them with the poly gel i'm just making sure that i know how they're going to last before I kind of do a video on it. I want to know, you know, did they last two weeks? At my, with the glue lasts two to three weeks, usually about three, but with the poly gel, I'm hoping to get a month. 
So we'll see. That's why it's going to take me a little while because I want to see how long they last so that I can let you know, at least for me, it may not be the same for you, but at least for me, how long they lasted like that. I will say that the first time I applied them with the poly gel, I used a nail dehydrator and primer and they popped off that same day. Um, <laughs> so I tried it again without the primer and dehydrator this time and I have not even had one lift on me. So I'm just waiting to do the video. Like I said, I wanna make sure I know all the information about it before I do a video on it. I don't like to do a video until I know all the details of everything how it worked for me any possible helpful tips for you so i just want to wait a little bit before i do that and see how long this set lasts so the next time i need to do a full set i'll be filming it for you pomegranate is so gorgeous oh my goodness i love this okay this is my idea of like a palette cleanse, but fancy. <laughs> I needed a good neutral color, but I wanted it to have a little bit of spice. And I remembered a manicure I did last year that used pomegranate. I'm very low on my dip liquids here with Glitzy, so I have to keep dipping back in. But I remembered a manicure I did using pomegranate, and I thought I used Gold Digger with it. And I don't think I did, but... I had already chosen Gold Digger. I was actually just going to do Gold Digger as a palette cleanse, but I really wanted to use pomegranate too. So lay it in. I kind of cup it around. Make sure you're getting all of the little pieces of your nail. Okay, so we're going to activate those two nails. So we have the ring and thumb with the zip liquids and the pinky middle and ring with the gel liquids. And I'm activating and not clear coating because look at that. I'm really not going to need to do anything except reshape a little bit, I don't think. I was going to clear coat, but it went on so thin that I don't really think I need to. So I'm just going to give that about two minutes to harden. And while I do that, I'm going to buff file and shape off camera. I have a filing video I'll link for you, but I'm going to start filing these. Wait, and I'll just do those last. So once I'm done with that, I'll be back. Okay, we've buff filed and reshaped. I'm going to activate these two nails again. While I'm waiting for the activator, I'm just gonna top coat these. So since we use gel, we're gonna finish with gel with those. So we're going to apply the gel base to each of those nails and cure it for 30 seconds. Gel top coat and cure for 60 seconds.
dip top coat. I am almost out of this bottle. You want to do as few brush strokes as possible, but I'm doing more than I prefer because the bottle's so empty. So hopefully that won't matter. Second layer of top coat once it starts to get a little matte looking. If you're looking for longevity, cap your free ends with either liquid. I am not going to do that because I typically do not. And to cap your free ends, once you get the product on your nail, you would just run straight across the top. You just don't want a lot of product on your brush when you do that. All right, I'm gonna let that dry. Okay, we're totally dry. I washed my hands and this is what we have. What do you think? I'm going to apply my cuticle oil. Hey Pixies, I'm back. I have had this on since Tuesday. It is now Friday. I love this manicure. This is a manicure that whenever I was changing them every two weeks, I could have worn for a full two weeks because I love it that much. So to take them off, this is how I like to do it. And I used to start at the tip. I, I'm sorry, not the tip, the cuticle. Um, but I actually start at the tip now because I don't want to lift up my nail tip by accident or your builder gel, whatever you have under there. So I take my cuticle cutters and I go to the edge and I just kind of see it's already kind of broken a little, not broken, but it's lifted a little there. And I get in between the two and I run it down along the edge and pop it right off. And then with these nail tips, I don't even do any prep. I immediately go right back in with my peel base and just do my peel base and my manicure. The only time I do any prep is like I have a little bit of glitter right there from the glitter nail. I'll kind of get in there and try to scrape that off. If there's any rough spots, um, I will potentially take my nail file and buff it down and re-gel base and top coat it to make it smooth. So I am just going to do that on each finger. So I just, you have to be careful if you have nail tips or something else. I just kind of lift up that corner and I do it on each of the nails. And I'm really careful, I'm trying not to hurt my actual nail tip because I don't want to have to buff it and place something else there. Easy peasy. I didn't have any lifting with it, but you can see how easily it's coming off. Now they've only been on three days, but if I was planning on keeping them longer, I might've just done one less layer of peel base. 
if you have any spots like that's still got glitter on it i just kind of scrape that off It doesn't always come off in one piece, but a lot of times it does. My pinky, for some reason, is always a little bit harder to get off. There we go. And then I'm actually, I only did two coats of Peel Base on this hand. So let's see if it's just as easy. I've never done two. I always do three. And this was on one less day. Yeah, this one's not going to be quite as easy to get off. I was just testing it to see how it would be with two layers versus three. But as you can see, it might kind of come off. I also had more layers of dip on this one. So I might actually have to like cut this one off. Sometimes I use this, but you have to be really careful. I'll show you, I, it's the same thing with that. I just might hold it a little differently than the orange stick. So these are, if you remember, I did, I think I did the gold digger nails with gel and the dip the um glitter nails with dip liquids if i remember correctly one of them was dip one was gel they all came off the same so i don't really notice a difference with lasting power or ease of removal with one versus another now these are dip liquids fully no gel but like I said, I only did two layers of peel base and I might have a hard time getting this one off. And this is why I do three layers. So let's see if I can get it. Now this, I hold it very carefully because I have cut myself with it before. Hopefully I'm not going to do that here, but that just gives it a little bit extra oomph. And here on the side, sometimes I get a little bit that didn't come off and I just kind of scrape over the side there and if it still won't come off I'll kind of go like that so that's how I remove it if I'm having issues with it not wanting to come off so that's how I drew my peel base and then remove them. Like I said, if I, I didn't have any lifting with them or anything, but as you can see, then they came off pretty easy. It's been almost exactly three days. So if I wanted them to last a little bit longer, more than five days, I might've only done two layers, but yep, I'm ready for my next manicure right now. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps YouTube share it to others. Subscribe to see more content and turn on your notifications. I have new videos every Monday and Thursday. If you have any questions, leave a comment below or you can find me on Instagram at Dipping Pixie. I also have a TikTok. Both of those will be linked down below as well. That's it for this one, guys, and I will see you in the next one.